Hey guys, Fanciful2 here. Um, today I am doing an update video on the uh, Sherwood Queen that I'm building. Um, I haven't made as much progress on it as I wish that I could have. However, um, I do have frame one, frame two, and frame three all cut out and ready to be assembled. Um, as well as um, I have frame four already traced out and I'm just waiting to get it cut. Um, I just haven't had time to do that as of yet. Um, and so that's pretty much where I'm at. I haven't made a whole ton of progress. Uh, the next thing I'm going to be doing is putting all the frames together. I have to build my form for the frames to sit on so that I can measure it out and uh, block each one of them so they don't move and they stay exactly where I'm wanting them to stay. Uh, the other thing that I would have is the transom. I still have to put some of the frames on that, but I do have that. Um, again, it's going to be 17 foot, so I am extending the hole by 10%, but the plans again say that I can do that. Uh, so it's not a big problem for me uh, to go ahead and ex extend it, especially since I'm going to have the same amount of frames. The only difference is that I'm going to have another two foot of plywood, which probably would end up being cut off as extras anyway. Um, so that is where I'm at with um, the Sherwood. Um, hopefully next time I make a video, I'm going to have all of my frames put together, all of, um, all of everything assembled. So I'm going to show you exactly how I'm assembling my frames. Um, I think I showed you last time how I was cutting them out and tracing them. Now I'm going to put one of these frames together for you so that you can kind of see um, exactly how I'm putting it together. So I suppose we can get started. A um, couple things you're going to need. Wood glue, camera drill, uh, driving set, drill set, and a countersink bit. Those are going to be what you need. And screws, obviously. Let me grab my screws so I can show you what I'm using. All right, so I actually use two different types of screws on all of my frames. Um, I use number eight by one inch and number eight by three quarters inch. The one inch, once you countersink it, it's just deep enough to go through your frame, enough to hold it until that glue dries, because the screws aren't actually what's going to hold your frames together. It is what, uh, the glue is what's going to hold them together. I put five holes in it, uh, one here, 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 and here. I can put more in it if I need to. So that's done, uh, and you'll want to put holes in the other one as well. So that's done. Now I'm going to take, you have two different pieces to each frame. You have the verticals and then you have the horizontals. These go across the bottom and then that's half the frame right there. All right. And so, then we drill our counter sink. Then we take our glue and take and put a healthy amount on the wood. This is glue is what's actually going to keep the frames together, not the screws. Use the three quarter inch. The reason I use three, the reason I use three quarters on this instead of the one inch is that the three quarters is more than thick enough to go through the quarter inch plywood, but it doesn't go through the back side of the frame, which makes it so that you don't have all these screw tips popping out on the other side of the frame. And so what I do, once I have everything assembled and I've actually flipped the hole, I'll go back and where any of these cracks are, I'll um, fill it with epoxy and wood flour. And then I'll go ahead and go back over top of it with another piece of wood just to seal all of it in. Um, but at the moment, that's unnecessary. So uh, that's half of it. Let's go ahead and get the other half built. All right, so like I said, you drill your countersink. Put your glue on. Again, I'm using a healthy amount of glue because the more glue that you have on it, the more this more likely this frame is going to stay together and you're not going to have any issues with it. All right, so we're going to change that out. Put our dry back in. Our screws in. The only other 
other piece that we need to worry about is this one here. There's our center line. Frame number two, like frame number one, gets just butted right up against itself. Um, and the reason for that is you don't have to make room for the stem to go in between your two halves. So, all we will be doing is taking this piece, which is actually part of our floorboard, and we will be putting it right here. is how you put the frames together and it's basically rinse lather and repeat for every single frame frames one through five well zero through five technically because you have the transom and so now we're, we're working on frame three uh, two more frames that need to be cut out transom frames and then I'll be ready to set up my form which goes down the middle this is also what the floorboards sit on as you can see on this page the form is this with two by fours that go up and back to the transom and all the way forward to frame five Sorry, frame four. And that is where I'm at. I want to thank everybody for watching. Going ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Um, hit the notification bell if you want to see all of my videos as I come out. Um, this is the complete frame three. Um, again, it's going to be a 17 foot boat. Or, I'm sorry, frame two. Thank you.